Okay, just giving you a context of what I'm measuring. The yellow trace is the output of the chronograph. This, this, the, you see two spikes. The first spike is when the bullet enters the first coil. And then the second spike is a little bit smaller spike. That's when the bullet enters the second coil. So with these two spikes, we can measure the time difference and then we can calculate the speed. Um, the purple trace here is the output of the gyro. The first coil is about two inches away from the crown of the barrel. And since we know the speed, we can back calculate the exact time when the bullet exits the crown of the barrel and it is at this particular point right here. So once we know the time and we can look at the gyro sensor data and hopefully with you know the new accelerometers, um, the X and Y accelerometers, we can figure out the, ex the exact um, uh, rotation of the barrel in the Y axis and the um, the, the horizontal and vertical uh, vibration uh, happening with the uh, X and uh, Y accelerometer. The X accel accelerometer is the light blue trace here, and the Y accelerometer is the green trace. So here you can see the time, the exact time the bullet uh, ex enters the first coil is at this particular point here. And then this is the time the uh, bullet enters the second coil. Um, so yeah, with that information, we can calculate the speed and then figure out the exact time when the bullet exits the crown because we know exactly the distance uh, of the first coil from the crown of the barrel. It's about two inches. So that's the time when the bullet exits the uh, crown of the barrel. So yeah, with this information, with all the gyros and accelerometers working, um, we could figure out exactly what's happening um, to to the barrel when the uh, bullet uh, exits the crown of the, uh, the barrel. Um, yeah, well, the only problem right now is we still see some flat lines uh, at the output of the uh, y-axis uh, accelerometer and also the x-axis accelerometer. These two accelerometers are rated for like 100 Gs. So basically the, uh, the barrel is exerting a lot more than 100 Gs. So that's why it's clipped. Um, the protection circuitry inside the accelerometer is kicked in and uh, flatlined the, uh, the output of the gyro to protect itself. So um, hopefully I'll put in some new accelerometer. I'm putting in a new uh, five plus and minus 500 G accelerometer uh, instead of this plus and minus 100 G that's clipping right now. Okay, just to give you an example of some sample data uh, that we took today and uh, show you how it is calculated. Here is the uh, first pulse and this is the second pulse. So you, you can measure the exact time between the two poles. That's right there. Um, all we have to do is measure the um, enter the measured time. And since we know the distance between the first core and the second core is six inches. And since we just measured the time, we can calculate the speed. The speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. Um, also, uh, the average, some of the average of today's shot were like um, 1,099.6 feet per second with a standard deviation of about 15 feet per second. Minimum speed was 1068. Max speed was 1126 and the spread is about 57.75 feet per second. So I would say today's results were a success. Um, so we will continue on once we get the accelerometers working. So thank you for watching.